Hey guys, McJeffries here and welcome back to Somerset Hills International Resort and have I got something to show you. Let's hope this works as well as I want it to. Right, we know this bit, same old, same old. Car leaves the, the unloading bay, travels along the little bit of track here, like that, and then travels into the loading bay. Strains go up, people get on, strains go down, and now off we go. And we hit this bit of lift hill, start going up, like so, turn around, there's our little friend, introduces himself, tells us all who he is, blah blah blah, but look, the building is finished. I believe, unless I've missed any little bits out, which is another reason why I'm doing this now, I believe this building is actually finished. Um, which is such a relief. I've obviously got to build the uh, the covering show building around it still, but for now, it looks as though we're done. Look, there's our hero again. As we meet him. We've got a couple of other pieces in here. That's an electro tower and there's an electro hole of some kind. Here's the little tilt to the side to go through the tight gap. Which I made using steel works just to make the gap a little bit tighter. And here's the top floor. And it's... Uh, Research and Development Labs is what's based in here. See, you get a nice little tour of what the labs look like. Might need to make the car's point a little bit lower, so you can actually see in through the windows properly. Um, at least those those windows there. These windows you can see through much better. And now we spin up and round, and oh no, there's the villain, there's Zoltor. He's not happy with us. He wants to do bad things to us, I've no idea what, and I just realised how wrong that sounded. But yeah, Zoltor wants to get us, so we drop underneath him just in time. Our hero finds us an alternative route, and there's the problem. I knew I'd find one. That f roof is transparent. So I will change that momentarily, but for now let's watch the rest of this ride. Right, so we go through that room again, we see the hero, and oh, smash glass! There's the first one. And there's the second one. The war machines have broken the glass in the rejected ideas room. Because they were too vicious, that's why they were rejected. And there's Zoltor again with his guns. He's about to shoot us and our hero takes us down another diversionary route. Up into the third room. The third scene, which is... What would you call this? I'd just call this the excess tech room, really. That's basically all there is in here, it's just excess tech. I kind of like the way the boxes on the floor above have made the ceiling a little less uniform as well. Right, no Zoltor on this one, because I realised it would probably be a bit stupid to have him on every single drop. Um, but here's the attack droids, trying to come after us. And there's Zoltor again. And I think we've actually got two Zoltors standing, one right on top of the other, which, uh, in terms of the narrative, we have to keep it like that. And I think it's only because we know that he's standing right on top of the other that it looks a bit weird. If it wasn't for that, I think it'd be pretty normal. Right, so we go around this trash escape route. We hit the brakes here, doors open, we pop inside. And here's our hero again trying to come up with a solution to the problem. And he's found it. He's going to tamper with the generator, which you can see there. It won't have supports running through it when the ride is completely finished, thankfully. And now we head into the uh, the main response room. We can see it's on fire. There you go. Now we can see it's on fire. And there's Zoltor in the middle meeting his match. Um, and then we duck under the doorway here quickly. Room goes boom behind us. Pop around this little corner here. And we see the hero one last time. Where he congratulates us for helping him. Um, we sit here and wait for a second whilst the car's in front clear. We've got 12 cars running on this track at any one time. Um, which I think is a good amount. 10, 10 was good, but I felt we could have had more capacity. So, that's what we've now got. Right, it's this floor here, isn't it, that doesn't work. Uh, so, let me clear all but one. That's a shame, that, actually, because that's a nice floor. You'd think it would work, it being solid, or at least it looking solid, but apparently not. 
Apparently he doesn't want to play ball. Okay, I'm going to try and do this really carefully without getting rid of anything underneath. Ooh, there we go. It's one of those ones where you click and it doesn't get rid of what you think it's going to get rid of. And then you start thinking, has it actually got rid of anything else? Nearly done, nearly done, nearly done. And there we go. I am interested to hear what you guys think of this ride. I personally, I think the, the storyline is strong. Unfortunately, because of the, the lack of scenery in the game, it's done in, in quite a weak way. I hold my hands up and admit that I'm not 100% happy with how it's overly turned out. But, I know that with the right kind of scenery, I could do a good job of this. Um, and that's why overall, because I could have just scrapped the project, I could have just said, no, nope, this isn't going to work and gotten rid of it, but I do still feel like I can make something out of this, so the ride's going to stay as it is for now and then as I download more custom scenery um, I might see if I can tamper with it, refurb it, maybe even retheme the whole thing and start again. Keep the ride structure in place, the ride track and even the rooms, just change what sits inside them and then the, the story can be adapted to, to fit that or you know the, the story can stay the same and it's just told in a better way with better scenery um, you know it'll be interesting to see what you guys think about this actually because this is my first proper dark ride and it does mean a lot to me so I wanted to make sure I got it right and I feel like I've done a fairly good job with it like I said right this ceiling hopefully is, is good enough I'll check it again in a little bit. In fact, let's check it again now. What I really needed was part of the ride out in the open so I could still select it. But I mean, I'm happy doing that. Okay. So let's choose one. Oop, okay. Uh, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Let's go for this one. This one's about to drop down and into that room. Here it goes. I like the way I've got the banking on the corners as well now. I think that looks really good. Yeah, there we go. The ceiling's in place. Awesome. Okie dokie. I'm a lot happier with that now. And actually, I just realised something. Whenever we have the hero, apart from on the lift hill, because the car's tilted anyway, but whenever we have the hero, the car is supposed to tilt from side to side, so we're going to have to do that. Uh, it's here, isn't it? Yes. Here he is. Um, it's just getting difficult to actually select the damn track as well, because of all the, the scenery we have in the way. There we go. Right. We go that way first. And then that way and then that way again and I think that'll do there we go okay the only thing left to do is to cover this whole building in I don't know what really and then I suppose we've got to do the queue actually let's do the queue first before I forget because that is the kind of thing I'd forget to do and then I'd kick myself so hard for forgetting um, basically we just need I mean something like that to cover well, I'm going to start semi talking to myself whilst I'm doing this so bear with me a second guys something like that would be perfect to go there because that looks cool and then um, get the columns which are here six high columns uh, okay maybe that's not as cool as I thought it would be hang on concrete that's the solution to everything just concrete everything yeah, see, that's not going to work at all. But we'll keep the concrete out because that's going to be perfect for doing this. 
we're going to cover all of this in concrete. So there and there. Uh, flip that round. There, there and there. And then all of this section here is going to be concreted like that and all the way down here like so to there corner concrete wrong level there we go um, and here and then all the way down this side Oh, I'm getting real RSI on my wrist building this ride. It's going to be the death of me, that's for sure. Right, like that, and then like that. All of these ones, like so. Is that the right level? It seems to be. Yeah, actually, I don't want it to go that high at all. Why did I do that? I'm not deleting anything special, am I? No, I'm not. Thank the Lord for that. Right. Um, That one. Like that. That one. Like that. And then... In there. Spin that round do this side like that and like that is that how it was? I think I've gone wrong somewhere there I think I've gone wrong somewhere there we'll s sort that out in a second I don't think it's that bad if I overlap them anyway right uh, that one yeah, I went wrong somewhere. That's fine. I can fix that. Spin that so it's facing the right way. There we go. That's that bit fixed. And then... Just stick a bit across here. Like that. So that's all that bit done. Now I want to... Um... I got no I haven't oh god hang on like that and then like that and then in here do it like that and then in there do it like that there we go now for this little bit at the top Something like this, and uh, hmm, I'm guessing we have to build this all the way around, or at least to there. That's facing the wrong way, like that, and like that, and like that. all of these bits like so and then these bits no, I went wrong like that there we go well, that took a lot longer than I thought and we still have to do that bit and I've put it in the wrong sodding place in fact actually let's extend this over one because I think I uh, announced this in the last video or maybe the video before how I want this to go because I want this to be like a why is that? Oh, like a glass bridge 
but obviously we need to get the facade out of the way as well so that's what this square here is for it's for the facade and then all of this building is going to be a separate thing so that's that bit done now we've got to cap a roof on it so what kind of roof shall I use I think um, something like that nice and simple like that yeah that will do at the end of the day I tried to make this look quite futuristic and I sort of got that effect down near the bottom but it is just a factory and even if it's a futuristic factory it's still a factory and I could have gone down the steampunk route but I've seen that done so often recently um, I wanted to do something a little bit different so it's kind of retro more than steampunk if that makes sense it could be based on a real factory right now this bit here I haven't got the foggiest what I want to do with this bit um, actually do you know what looking at that ugly 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 come on there we go oh I knew that was going to happen I bloody knew that was going to happen right so let me put that bit back in um, what type was it? It's that one. There it is. So that goes in like that. There we go. Now I want this building here to be made of glass. Um, maybe not completely glass. Oh, I don't know. Hang on. Let me think of something. The sides I don't want to be made of glass, like down here, along there, and down here, I don't want to be made of glass, but the front bit, I wouldn't mind that bit being made of glass, but I want to see if I can block off, so if I put that there, yes, that works, that's what I wanted. I might do it with a slightly bigger wall though, but it has the effect that I wanted, it, it doesn't ruin the whiteness of the wall behind. Um, I want a big wall, but not too big. What's the biggest one they've got that isn't the red lasery one? They've got ones like this, I suppose. I mean, that's just... Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's go all the way along down here first. I didn't really design the Q building very well, I don't think. I was so busy looking at the ride and how the ride was going to go that I didn't really consider the fact that there was a queue line for it as well you know I drew it on the plans sure but I mean that doesn't do it does it right down here uh, yeah I got that in the right place cool cool I don't even know how tall I'm going to make this Um, and um, am I going to bother covering the exit? I mean, that'd be the logical thing to do, wouldn't it? But doesn't mean it's going to happen. So that's that's the basic idea I have: a box like that, and then the front of it here is going to be all made of glass because that looks attractive. Um, and the rest of it, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to make it out of. Bear me one second, guys. I'm just going to take a drink from my bottle as well. Oh, it has been an extraordinarily hot day today. Just, it's probably one of the hottest days I can remember. And because I'm recording, I can't put my fan on. And I have my desktop on all day because I'm recording. So, I don't even want to know what the temperature is in this room right now. It is so hot really really hot um, but I suppose I just have to put up with it <laughs> because otherwise how can I make these videos right nearly there uh, well I say nearly there sort of slightly there maybe I have an idea for the exit now because the upstairs bit of the queue apart from the ramp here this upstairs bit is going to be 
out of sight. So, you know, I'll dress up the front of the building, obviously, because it's glass, you can see through it. But the rest of this building here, I can just cover the exit path like that, and no one will know. Especially if you're in the queue, you won't know that the exit path is directly beneath you. Likewise, even if you're coming out of the of the uh, the ride, coming out the exit, you might not even know that the queue path is directly above you. So I can end that like that, and have. I'm going to make this bit metal, like that, and then yeah up to maybe this level or a little bit higher and then above this is going to be glass and it's going to have a glass domed roof as well that sounds good to me I could have even had the queue come out this far you know uh, do you know what I'm going to rebuild this tiny little bit of queue let's delete that bit Oh wait, no. Scrap that. Awful idea. I have some really bad ideas sometimes, and now I've forgotten what type of path I had. Uh, not path, I can't even speak. What type of wall I had. It's that one, wasn't it? Yes, number four. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's fill this gap up, shall we? Like so. Um, this is probably not going to be a very attractive queue line. But, oh, sorry, lent on my microphone then. Um, but you know, it's a factory. What do you expect? It's the factory of something because I still haven't been able to name this ride. I've been sat here scratching my head. I've asked my girlfriend what she thinks I can call it and she doesn't know. It's a real brain buster this one as to what the hell we're going to call this this ride. Uh, right, what am I looking for now? I am looking for the same ground cover. There it is. Is that the one? Yeah. Same ground cover that we had on the roof of loading and unloading because that looks cool for this. So we'll cover up this exit path really quickly and then we can carry on building the wall around the queue path. And I'm going to put something misleading on the queue path as well. Um, and again it's to do with the glass roof and it's showing off something that make riders think that's what the ride is going to be and then have it turn out to be something completely different. Right, excuse me there again guys, I've been <laughs> took my headset off so I can wipe my forehead because it is it's not pretty. Let's put it that way. It it's not pretty. Right. Um before I completely pollute your minds, let's just finish this bit off. So I mean actually this gives kind of a good a good idea of what I want the ride to look like from the outside anyway, is this really dusky, dirty looking factory. Even though it's quite modern inside. And, you know, the backstory of the ride, the riders are told that it's quite a modern looking factory. And then they queue up for it, and this is what they come and see. And it, it, it really is a juxtaposition of, of what they expect and what they actually get. So yes, this, this works quite nicely for me, I'd say. Right, time to finish the walls around this little bit. Um, I've forgotten already which one it was. It was that one, wasn't it? Number four. Yes, number four. Okay, as we were, building this wall around here. like that 
and we'll complete that a little bit like that and then we'll also like this all the way along to there and then we're going to build there and there and somehow get the right camera angle uh, no, I had it right way around the first time there and there and there uh, there and there and there oh this is the time consuming bit now it's all about theming if you, if you compare these episodes the amount of time it took me to build the track apart from a couple of areas where I wasn't really sure where it was going to go it was no time at all. I'm really good at building tracks. If I say so myself. I feel like I'm good at building tracks. Um, that tends to be my forte. If ever I was to collaborate with someone, I would be the track builder for definite. Even if I let them build the scenery first, I reckon I'd still be able to build a track that fitted in with the scenery without getting too much in the way. This is the bit I'm not so good at. And you know, I'm, I'm creative when it comes to building tracks. When it comes to putting scenery in and coming up with backstories, I'm not the best. This is probably the most creative I've been. And if there's people out there now sitting there thinking, well, this is crap, then that pretty much sums up my point. <laughs> this is not what I'm best at. Not by a long stretch. You know, I want to be a roller coaster designer as my career in the future. Um, and that's what I'll be a roller coaster designer. If I suddenly get a spark of creativity, I wouldn't mind becoming something like an Imagineer, let's say. But for now, I realise that that is not my strong point, and therefore I'd be pretty futile trying to go into that sector, because it just isn't for me. Um, but, you know, part of the reason I'm doing this series is I've always wanted to make a Roller Coaster Tycoon series, and I've tried a couple in the past, one of which was fairly popular, I'd say. I say, well, I say popular. People watched it. That's the main thing. Um, and then there's this series, which is a bit of a slow burner, but it's getting there. I keep dropping out of it. That's the problem. I keep under committing. So I sort of lose interest and then I gain interest again. And it's all to do with this, what I'm saying now, creativity. I lose the spark. It's very easy for me to lose the spark. I'll wake up one morning with an idea for a ride and I'll make a video and build it. And then the next day... I'll wake up and I just want to record something else and play something else and this sort of gets forgotten about for a while um, and then suddenly I'll wake up again with a really good idea and I'll, I'll go on here and I'll build it and I'll record it make a video on it and so on and so forth that's basically my life now that's what happens it happens with all my series right done uh, one more little bit for this and then this is completed and it's going to be that and that let's do the bottom level first although I'm building this bit in the wrong spot so it actually has to go there in fact no scrap that That is in the right spot. I've no idea what's going to go here with regards to theming, because I'm obviously going to have to fill this empty space, but I'm going to have to do it because this is where the path emerges. Damn it. I wish I'd think of these things at the time of me designing. I mean, look at that. It's got this big empty space. And this little bit here as well. That's going to have to be filled. Uh, I'm going to take that off. Ah. <sighs> Nearly done. So nearly done, and then I think I'm probably going to call it a night after I've done this episode because I've been working on this park all day. I've actually been recording these videos all day, um, and I've been building this ride all bloody day. 
So any excuse for a break, I will gladly take it. Put that one in the wrong bloody place. There we go. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one, that one. So on, so forth. To there, and then... Come back down this way. I just hope this bit of scenery actually fits where I want it to fit now as well, otherwise I'm not going to be happy at all. There we go. Done. Right, let's see if this piece of scenery fits. Um, is it this one? That's three by three. That's three by three. That's three by three. For Christ's sake! Oh, it's not going to fit. In that case, for now, I'm just going to leave that as an empty space. I'll come back to it sometime. Um. Now I've got to find the piece of scenery that I want to build the roof with. It's somewhere down here. Where is it? There it is. Guard, girders and glass. Garders and glass, as I nearly called it. Um, let's see if these fit. No, not that one. That one? I don't like this, look. That. That just looks awful. Because I want to build these big. And I can't because of how that looks. Now it's just there for aesthetics. It doesn't actually do anything. This, however, looks okay. So. I could use this. Like that. Uh, do I want black? No, I don't. Let's go for something nice like white. A nice neutral colour, because we've got so many dark colours in this ride building. Let's go for something nice and light. And we're going to stop that there, because the ride facade is going to go along this little bit as well. And we don't really want to get in the way of that. Not in the slightest. Right. Raise that bit up as well. There we go. Now build these bits along. Not there. Like that. Um, that's what I wanted. Nice little corner piece. There and there. So I don't think there's any rounded ones. Nope. What are these ones? Oh, they actually stay straight, but they're diagonals. That's probably why they stay straight, because they're all diagonal. I need some vertical ones. There they are. Have we got any thicker ones than that? That looks a bit flimsy. Still, does the job, I suppose. That just looks really flimsy. turn it into a cross section like that. Oh, it does say flat girder on it. I probably should have read that bit. Iron pillar? That's not a pillar. That's tiny. That's an embarrassment. Got plate metal beams? Nah. I've got these ones though, the girders. put that on the corner like that and then put one let's see one here perhaps like that and then what's that gap one so one two one there and then one two one there like that. That looks okay. Now I'm tempted to make all this bit glass. 
Hmm. No. No, I'm not. I'm not going to make that bit glass at all. Uh, what I'm going to do now is go into this bit. Somewhere, I hope, they have just a flat... There it is. That's the one I wanted. Just a flat piece of glass like that. The colours are all wrong, though. I want black outline, white glass... Like that, and then that little bit there, uh, and then we can go up onto this top floor, like that. And now for this little bit of roof here, this two by two bit of roof, I would like to have that bit go up like that, and that bit go up like that, like that, because that looks cool. And then have the same thing on that side like that, because that also looks cool. And then go back to this. Do I have a bigger piece than that? I do. There we go. Is that going to be too big? No, that looks fine. And have it like that. This is going to end up like my Seven Wonders of the World building, which I'm going to go back to, by the way. I'm going to redo some of that ride, because I've downloaded something custom scenery-wise that I think is going to be a much better fit for what I want to do with that ride. Um, but in the meantime, I am concentrating solely on finishing this ride. And this glass roof is just going to let some light into the queue before you plunge into the darkness that is the factory itself. Okay, I'm just going to finish this little bit of roof. And again, I understand this is a long episode. And a non-lazy person would probably cut this up into smaller pieces and upload it like that. But I'm a lazy person, so... There we go. So we have this really weird, interesting looking facade, like that. With this wonderful glass roof that I forgot to put. No, nothing's going there, is it? That's the facade building goes there. So that's that. And then we have this fantastic structure linked to it. With this wonderful ride inside. And all these little girder legs and things that hold everything up. Hold everything together. So the realism's there. Because I think you'll find, if you look around the ride, apart from this bit here, because I completely forgot to put one in, there's enough girders to support the entire ride, track and all. Um, with regards to supports, I don't know what I'm going to do with the supports, whether I'm going to get rid of them or not. There's only a few that you can actually see, so I might get rid of those ones. Uh, am I in the right bit? I was not in the right bit. So I might get rid of the supports that you can actually see, but the rest of them, they're not really doing much harm, just sat there, so... At the end of the day, it looks like the ride's being supported then, and that's that's crucial for a ride when you're on it. You've got to make sure that something's holding it up. That's the one I wanted to do. And then... Like that, like that, like that, and like that. There we go. And now that corner's being supported as well. Fantastic. Okay, guys, time to end this episode. When we come back next time, it'll probably be a time-lapse or something of me putting the facade building on this thing because that's going to take a long time and I'm really not looking forward to it but it has to be done and then this ride can actually be complete and we can move on to something a little bit more interesting so uh, until then guys thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel be sure to click the subscribe button if you have already subscribed to my channel thank you guys for your continued support and until next time I will see you soon